It is time for round two of Left Hook, Right Jab. Our new weekly debate series brings together two of Portland's most outspoken political commentators. Welcome again to KXL's Lars Larson and former Portland City Commissioner Steve Novick. Tonight, we're talking about Donald Trump's tax plan. So here is the question, gentlemen. Would Donald Trump's sweeping tax changes be good for our country? We start off with Steve Novick. Ready, go. Lars, what strikes me about this massive giveaway to corporations and rich people is that it completely contradicts Donald Trump's stated goal of making America great again. After all, when was America great? A lot of people would say it was in the 1950s, when we had a strong middle class, when incomes were rising for every segment of society. What do we also have in the 1950s? Corporations and rich people paying their fair share of taxes, much more than they do today, let alone what they would pay after Donald Trump's tax cuts. The thing is, Lars, between the two of us, I'm really the conservative. I believe in the America of Dwight Eisenhower, Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle, Chevrolet, and rich people and corporations paying their fair share of taxes. And you and Donald Trump believe in a modern, mean-spirited version of America where the rich people get all the stuff. I got to tell you, Steve, that's the wrong picture because, first of all, corporations don't pay taxes. Individuals pay taxes. If Microsoft or Boeing or Intel or Nike pays corporate taxes. We pay those taxes when we buy their shoes or their airplanes or their computers. Donald Trump's right. We now have in America the number one, the highest corporate tax rate in the world at 35%. It needs to go down to 15 or 20%. Even Canada is down in the upper teens. If we lower the tax rates, America will be great again and we'll be able to give the corporations and the people more of their money. Just remember, corporations don't pay taxes, their customers do. Well, rich people own corporations, of course. And again, in the 1950s, corporations paid a 50% tax rate, far higher than today. The other thing to keep in mind is, what do those taxes pay for? The vast majority of the federal budget goes to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the military, and interest on the debt. So ultimately, if you cut taxes, you're gonna have to cut those things. And this tax cut is particularly damaging to Medicare because under this tax cut, rich people who make their money buying and selling stock won't have to pay the Medicare tax. I got to tell you, Steve, I want to say something about the personal tax rates as well. But if we drop the corporate tax rate to 15, as Donald Trump has proposed, if you talk to the IRS, and I've looked at the IRS numbers, Corporations currently pay, after all the gimmicks and the deductions, 14%, which means there's not going to be that big a difference. And for individuals, Donald Trump's tax plan says, we go from a ridiculous rate of 39.5% all the way down to 35, 25, and, and 10. That's a much lower rate for middle class and lower income Americans. It's going to make America great. Actually, under Trump's plan, a lot of people, a lot of rich people will be able to turn themselves into corporations and pay that 15% tax rate. Well, I'm just one of those people who believes that you can't tax your way to prosperity. We've never been able to do it before. And for you to wish to go back to the pre-Kennedy 90 plus marginal tax rates is crazy. Americans, especially low income Americans, will thank us for dropping their rate at the lower end from 15 to 10. That's a 30% cut and that's good for America. There you have it, viewers. Lars Larson believes that Dwight Eisenhower was a socialist. I think Dwight Eisenhower was a great American. Time. That's all the time I see you saved a few seconds to get the last word in there. <laughs> Thanks, Gentlemen, thank you. Lars, Steve, we'll see you for the next showdown of Left Hook, Right Jab. Joan Tracy. Well, we spent a lot of